Hello, my sparkly sunshines. Hello, everyone. How is everyone today? Okay, today we're going to do another bow. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to make another bow, a different one. So, uh, we're going to get started on that. So, before we do... Uh, oh, I did say hello. Okay. Uh, before we Before we do... Get started. I'm gonna show you how to this bowl, particular bowl. We're gonna learn how to make. I'm gonna show you how to make it when uh, the fabric is the same on both sides, and when the fabric is not the same. Cause you you see this fabric, see it's the same on both sides. It's it's not like a a different color. It's not different color, but it's not the same. It's a back side. It's really a back side. See now this one. It's, this is on this side, but see, you see the back side is not the same. So I'm going to show you how to make the same bowl when you don't have a back side on there. See, the, the back side is the same. So we can make it. So so that's why I'm going to show you with two different bowls, how you do it. And you, you'll see the difference as I make it. Okay. Uh, before we get started, guys, I always talk about uh, um, my website and uh, the different things I have on there, like the uh, like the digital downloads that you can just print out yourself on my website or my Etsy shop, you know, whichever one you would like. So uh, I just want to show you just a couple of inserts that's in. This is called. This is my, and I'm this 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 one is new. I'm putting this up real uh, real soon. This is. Um, my vision board planner and i just want to show you just just a couple of inserts of just to give you an idea of how uh, my planners are kind of created they created differently though but just to give you an idea of how they're created so yeah this is part of the vision board planner you know to, just to show you you know I did this is the letter size 8 by 10 and I usually do them in three sizes 8 uh 8 by 10 sorry about that guys 8 and a half by 11 8 and a half by 11 the letter size the A4 size and the A5 so that's what I usually do but yeah so this just gives you a idea of just to show you a couple of inserts just give you an idea on how um I create them but yeah so I, I create them differently that's so that's that's just a you know a small little peek at um a couple pages in my planner that now that planner is gonna be kind of a bigger planner and you could print it print the whole thing out if you want the thing is like the little light colors I make them light colors that just to, you know so you can like save ink when you print it out so that's why I make the colors uh, kind of light you know it may be like one or two dark colors and if it is it's kind of small so I keep it kind of light as possible but you can also when you go to print it out you can turn it into you can change the color to black and white and that'll also save on ink. So that's how come I do that. And it's going to be a bigger one. But you don't have to print out everything. If you don't want to. You go through it. And you print out the uh, pieces that you, you want to use. As your vision board. And again. You don't have to print it all out at all. You can use it on Adobe Reader. And. And just do have your vision board right on your phone and use it right on Adobe Reader. So, yeah. So, again, uh, at the end of the video, I'll put my website up. It's going to be in the description box and then I'm going to put it on the screen at the end of the video. I showed you all this the last time on the video, uh, the project I was working on. I was thinking about... Uh, once I show you all how to make this, you know, again, let me know in the comment box if you all want to learn how to make these notepads. I showed you all that I made these uh, notepads. So what I was thinking that once I show you all how to make them, that maybe I will put 
these, uh, you know, I would just put these as a free gift with some of the digital downloads, the digital planners or what have you. Uh, maybe I will put these as a free gift and all you have to do is just print them out and cut them out and make them yourself. So that's what I was thinking. Let me know if you all think that's a good idea because I told you all I wasn't thinking about really selling them. I was just, you know, doing a little project just to uh, make the planners, maybe just to give away as like a promotional item or something. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, so that's what I was thinking about. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. Uh, to add this along with my uh, digital downloads that I have for sale right now and um, have this as a free gift and all you have to do is just uh, print it out and cut them out and make them yourself okay so let's get back let's go ahead and get back, get to making uh, the ribbon guys alright so you know I don't know what you call this ribbon let me make, I'm going to make one in this color too. This got the same cologne both sides too. Now this ribbon, you do really do need ribbon with wire in it because I, I really don't think uh, it's going to behave correctly without the wire. So this, this type we're about to make now, you really do need a uh, wire ribbon. Yeah, because I, I think the the ribbon without the wire, I don't, I don't think it'll make a good one with this one. Okay, I don't know what the name of this is. I'm going to call it Fluffy Pillow Ribbon. I don't know. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> so, I'm not certain. Okay, so let me cut that piece off. For... Well, I'll wait to the end to cut a piece off to put it in the center. So, okay, watch. I have to talk through it because I, I got to let you know what I'm doing. So I don't think I'm be able to fast forward any of it. Okay, so I'm just taking it like this. See, I'm just what I'm doing is just making a loop. So I'm just making a loop coming around like this. Yeah, come on. There we go. Just making me a loop like here. And make your loop as big as you want. Okay. So, you know, try to make it as even as possible. So, I made a loop right here. And I'm going to make it close it up a little bit more. Yeah. Close that loop up a little more. Because I want it, when I tie it, I want everything to tie up. Cause it'll come out of there if you don't. There we go. Now you see the loop. This this is the loop we making. This is real wide ribbon. This ribbon really wide. This this uh wider than the other ones. Okay, now that I got the loop, what I'm gonna do is. I'll probably be using both hands to do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, take this. Take this. Go go under. Come on under there. Now. Wait. No, this guy. Oh, no. It's the same color. I almost thought this was a different color. Now, see, I want it at the bottom like this. Now, you see my loop? And I want this at the bottom. So, what I'm going to do so I'm going to take this and I'm going to bend it and I'm going to take this and I'm going to bend it. Ah, It's so wide to work with. <laughs> That's why you see I work a little better with the uh, smaller one. We're going to bend it like this. See like this. We bend it like this and we're coming over to this side. Don't forget this loop is up here. Don't move that. See we I bent that. You see how I bent that on this side? I'm going to bring it out some more. Just a, just a little more. There. Because this is such a wide ribbon. Like this. Okay. 
I bent it on this side. I'm turning it this way so you can see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and bend it on this side. Let's bend it on this side. And we got to try to eyeball it, you know, try to see. We want to make sure that they're the same on each side. You see? Bring this out a little more. See that? Now we see, and we want to try to make sure they same on each side. Okay. Now I just folded that, and you see, it's coming back this way. Okay. Now we take this one again and fold it. So you do how many you want. I'm gonna do either two. It depends on how much ribbon I got. I'm gonna do either two or three on each side. I ain't gonna do no more than three because this, this ribbon is so wide. So I'm gonna do two or three depending on how much ribbon I got <laughs> left on this one. Okay so we take come back to be doing this we folding it on this side again right up under this one. So that's why I'm showing it this way and we holding it coming back over here. See this? And then we're going to fold this one. We want to make sure it's even. On both sides. Yes, it's, it's seem like it's about to. I'm about to run out. So I don't know if I'm going to get two or three. Okay. Yeah. I'm working more with this one because it's such a wider one. Yeah, this wide one you have to really work with. So I'm folding this back over. I, I just I just folded this. Remember, see, open, see, and I'm folding it, and the whole thing is coming over here to this side. And oh, look like I could get three. Look like I might have enough for three. See, I'm coming back on this side right here and then fold again see as we fold we're taking the whole piece up under here back to this side let's untangle the ribbon taking the whole piece back to this side and look running that running out see that I uh, hope I got enough for my legs and then we take this take take this and we're gonna fold this one on this side and see now we got three on each side see we stop right here we, we ain't gonna take it all the way back over to here unless you want to do more than three so I'm not I'm gonna stop at three because you already see that uh, my legs gonna be kind of short because yeah the ribbon that's the end of the ribbon so I move this box on over out the way so I stop so I stop right here. Even if I want to do uh even if I had more ribbon and I want to stop at three, you don't bring it all the way back over here. You when you once you fold this one right here, once you fold that piece, once you fold this piece right here, you bring it over so you stop right here where my hand is at. And now um because I do want the leg, so I'm gonna do this like this and then I'm going to cut it in half. See if I had more ribbon I would have folded it like this before I would have cut it off of the ribbon before I would have cut it off of the ribbon um, box I would have folded it like this because I'm just going to cut that in the center uh, but uh, but since uh, we didn't you know so now I'm going to take my pipe cleaner again I told you all you don't have to do that because I got to take a little piece off of here because I got to put it in between here you know to uh then that's necess not necessarily but be because I, I don't have the I done ran out of ribbon I'm just gonna probably just fold it up here unless I really do need to Okay, so the pipe cleaner, you know, I, I just put it through here, see? Let me turn it back around so you can see. See the pipe cleaner? I just put it through here, and I'm just going to come 
and twist it. Remember guys, this is a, a preference. You don't have to use the pipe cleaner, this, these crafty pipe, pipe cleaner sticks. You know, I, I just use it because, uh, I don't know, I, I just like, I kind of like uh, using it for the, uh, get a nice little tight thing on my bowls. Okay, and just twist them. Let me cut these off. There we go. And now you all know the drill. What we do is we're going to fluff them out. So You fluff them out how you like. Oh, this is this, this this is a big bowl. <laughs> this this bowl big. That stay in the center. That's the center piece right here. So we keep that like in the center, and then you you know you just pull it out. You could you could keep it like on top like this or pull it out you the thing is you fix it up how you like everyone fix it up like how you want it and you just fluff it I tell you when I'm doing bowls I fluff and fluff and fluff and fluff so you know it it take me see see I, so I don't know I just call it like a pillow fluffy bowl I don't know and what you do when you take this, you bring this up. This, y'all know that I I I was at the end of my bowl. Let's take this off. Come on, come on, come on, piece of tape. All right, and I'm gonna cut this little piece off because I still want to wrap some around. Okay, and then to make your legs, you just put this up here with this. And what I'm going to do is wrap it with, before I cut the leg off, I mean cut the leg off, oh Lord, the blood. Before I cut the ribbon in half to make the legs, you guys know I fold this, I fold this up because you know you, you want it even so I fold this up I fold this piece up and then I put it in here put it in the center this is the center remember that the, the loop we made put it in the center and we're gonna wrap it around to cut to, we're gonna cover we're gonna Put this in place, cover that, and you might have to glue it. If you have to glue it, that's okay. Put this in, in place and um and then wrap the the ribbon around. Wrap the uh this piece all the way around the uh pipe cleaner. That's what I was trying to say. Wrap it around the pipe cleaner. So yeah. And then you glue it in there. See, I already have mine's already tied tight. And then you glue it in and then you generally I make le the legs longer than this but because I ran out of that ribbon the legs are shorter and this is and this is your ribbon you see this is your ribbon see that so uh because I don't want to take like too much time I'm gonna go off and glue the uh, piece that I wrap, I'm gonna go off the camera and glue that on, and then I'm gonna come back on and show you all how to do this one that doesn't have. It's not the same color on the back. It this this one has a a back side, so you know it has a front and it has a back. So I'm gonna show you how you can make this ribbon with this. So so I'm gonna go off and uh, go ahead and. Uh, Put that on there, okay? And then we'll come back and do that. Because I got to talk through this one as well to show you all how to do it. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. 
Okay, everybody. Let let me show you how to make this uh pillory fluffy bowl when it has a back side. Okay, so remember we make our loop. Oh, this is much easier to to manage this size. That that was that's a real big one. But I ain't gonna. I won't run away from that challenge. I I still like work with it. Yeah, that 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 ribbon. That's a lot of ribbon on that first bow. Okay, so now we we made I, uh, our uh, loop. So remember, oh, let me hold it so you can see it like this. So remember, we gonna go like we gonna oh, we gonna go like this. We gonna go like like this to hold on. Now what I want to do, I want to come around one more time. I want to hold it like this. Yeah. And come around one more time. Now, what we're going to do is, okay, after we make our loop, remember, we fold it and come over like this. No, hold on, guys. I'm messing. I'm messing up. Okay, here we go. So I was right. We fold it like this, and I'm gonna show you what we do after after that. Okay. Sometimes I could be a professionist. It, it just a little slightest thing seem like it's off. You know, I go to messing with it. So let me. Okay, we fold it like this. Remember. And as we fold it like this, as we fold this in like this, we hold on to it and we come over to the other side. Now, now you can you see now why I said we had a, a back side on this ribbon? Now you see how, th how this look right here? If we came back like this, let's screw some. See, if we came back like this here, do you see how different those two sides would look? See, if we did this right here, we did this one right here. This is the right side, and we went over here. But if we did just like we did with the one that got the front and back the same, if we just fold under like this here to come back on this side, do you see how different? Do you see that how they, they look? You see this one is the front and that's the back. So you don't want that. You want both sides looking like they supposed to look the front side. Okay, let's go back to it. So I, I just want to show you all. That's why I said this got a front side and a back side. And the other women, uh, both, the, both sides are the same. Front and back are, are the same. So... We fold like this and we keep it under and come on over to this side. Now once we get over to this side, what we do is we take this, try to stay try to stay right here at the center of it. We take this and we twist. You see that? We twist and see now when we twist, we back on this side. We twist and we bring it back to this side. See that? Then we bring it back to this side. See, we twist and we bring it back to this side. Okay. Oh, it's going to come out right. We twist and we bring it back to this side. And then when we get back on this side, uh, because we had to twist and bring it back to this side. It, it looks a mess when you're first making it, but you'll get it. But because we had to twist, you see we back on the back side. So now we have to try to, like again, try to stay at the, at the center of it. This ribbon gave me some problems. I, I think it's the material of it. Uh... 
Okay. I don't know why it's, it's, it's acting up like this. Okay. Now. I'm going to do my arms just for the purposes. Because it's acting up. I'm going to put my uh, tape right here on this loop. So it won't keep coming in loose. I'm going to put my tape right there on that loop. Because it's just clowning today. And I know I'll be making these bowls and be getting down with them. I don't want to be messing around with it too long. And then you have to be careful uh, with, with making any of these bowls. Especially if you're thinking about selling them. Because, um, because uh, your hands, you know, give time allowed. Because your hands will cramp. You, 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 you will have cramped up fingers when you make it too many okay again we remember we fold it this way and we're gonna hold it like this we fold it this way we're gonna hold it like this get yourself back up there we're gonna hold it like this then we come to this side again you can do however many you want I'm just gonna do two or three then you do it you come to this side Try to stay at the center here. Try to stay right here at the center. Try to stay in there. You twist. You twist. And then you come back. And we're bringing it all the way over to this side again. See there? Try to make sure they're the same size. Let me make sure. So I got my loop like this. Let me make sure they say this will come out a little more. Wanna make sure your sizes are the same. And again, you gotta again we when we come back on this side, we on the back side. You gotta twist, fold it, and bring it back again on this side I'm just gonna hold it like this now when we get to this side when we get to this side we got the right side we got the correct side that's up so all we have to do is fold back on this side like this that's the second one and then on this side we back at the back side again twist and fold it and come back over here so that's how that's how uh you do that's how you do this one and then when we come back again we on the right side and then you just fold it and bring it back so um that's how you do that when you take it and twist, bring it back, take it and twist, and uh, bring it back. Okay, uh, let's fix this bow up. So now I'm just, I'm about to take it loose and uh, redo it. I just had to show you all what to do. I'm about to take it loose and redo it, but I'm going to fast forward it now. So let me fix this bow up. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back.
Okay, everybody, so that's how you make these bowls. So the one with the fabric is the same on both sides. And I don't know what you call these kind of big bowls. It's fluffy pillow bowls, I guess, I don't know. And then the one when the fabric is not the same color uh, on both sides. So yep, that's how you make these kind of bowls. So yeah, again, like I said, uh, be careful when you're making them. I mean, not yeah, be careful when you're making them. And you definitely have to have wire when you make these kind of bowls, cause you know you have to, you know you you gonna find yourself like fluffing it. You are gonna find yourself taking time to fluff it, cause um you gonna cause you're gonna want to get it to where you want. So. You're going to find yourself like fluffing it for uh, a while until you get it to your liking. So you're going to find yourself doing that. But um, especially if you, you know, you're thinking about like uh, making the bowls to, to sell. Time yourself, you know, appropriately because you your hands will cramp up, especially uh, if you got the fabric that it doesn't have. That both and that 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 both sides, front and back, are not the same uh, pattern. So you 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 know. So time yourself accordingly, cause your your you know your hands will get cramped up. So yeah, that's the bows. And again, guys, I'm gonna put my website and my Etsy shop uh, website address on the screen, and I'll have it in the description box. Again, just to uh. uh recap this is just a few inserts of my vision board planner that uh, I'm creating right well I'm pretty much done with it but I haven't put it on my site and on my Etsy shop yet but uh, I'm gonna put it on there real soon you know once I tidy up just a few things on it so yeah uh, so that's just a few inserts just a couple inserts that I have for my planner, you know, so all of my planners are, 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 you know, good planners. Just, just, you know, go on my website and take a look, read the information, Etsy shop or website. I'm gonna put both of them on, on the screen. And again, too, if you uh, like for me all to show you all how to make uh, these notepads, if you if you like for me to show you how to make these. Leave comments and you know comment in the box, and uh, I show you all how to make these notepads. Cause I'm thinking about uh, once I show you all how to make the notepads, I'm thinking about putting a, a, a file of the notepads with my planners, with some of my digital downloads. I'm thinking about putting a, a, a digital download planner there. I mean, um, notepad there that you could print out and then you could just cut it out and make the notepad. You know, you won't have to create it. All you have to do is just uh, print it out and make it. So, um, that's what I was thinking about doing. So, if you all want to learn how to make them, um, you know, see, because see, like, like I told you, you just tear it away, you know. just It's a notepad. You write on it and then you just tear it away like that. So, if you all want to... Or you can leave it on there. You don't have to tear it away if you don't want to. But, you know, mostly notepads, you know, you tear them away like, kind of like sticky notes, I guess. You know. So, they, that's what they, they kind of like sticky notes, which you just tear away after you write on it. So, yeah, if you want to learn how to make them, uh, leave it in the comments and I'll show you all how to make them. And, uh, again, check out the website and the Etsy shop website. So, here, here the bowls, guys. Nice fluffy bowls. There we go. And everyone, again, today is a great day. And it's going to get even better. Tomorrow is going to be an even greater and better day. In Jesus' name. Okay? Thank you all so much for taking time out to see what I'm doing. I do appreciate it. Take time to be kind. Be blessed. Be safe. Again, thank you. And until next time, everyone. Bye.